family of Justin Brooks, the young man whose body was found in the Prince Rupert Harbour in early March, held a candlelight ceremony in memory of Brooks over the weekend. Or see his big, beautiful smile again. Or tell him just how much we loved him. Justin will never be able to hold his precious son Lucas again. Your daddy didn't mean to leave you, baby boy. Also at the ceremony were family members of the late Emily McLean and Kayla Rose McKay, who were also discovered near in the harbor. Years, 11 months. Just a month away before her 14th birthday, we laid her away. We laid her away and broke. One month later, her birthday came around. She wasn't there. She had dreams. Stuart Phillip, Grand Chief of the Union of BC Indian Chiefs, and Christine Smith of the Vancouver Aboriginal Transformative Justice Society, attended the ceremony and met with families while in Prince Rupert. Along with the BC Civil Liberties Association, the groups will look into how RCMP investigate the deaths and disappearances of Aboriginal people in the North. For some time now, that here in the North, the relationship between the RCMP and our Indigenous peoples, our Native peoples in the North, has been absolutely terrible. The criminal justice system treats our people with absolute indifference. They are dismissive to our efforts to bring forward information, to bring forward evidence. And we knew that we had to come up and begin to gather information, detailed information about these cases, to carefully document that information to develop a comprehensive detailed report and begin to bring pressure. We have committed to coming back, documenting and continuing to have dialogue with the community to make sure to bring up all of the, the concerns that we have here. Thank you for showing us your support. We love you all.